everybody here's another one cover is a piece of weaving that I did on my peg loom uh, great fun to use so easy real child's play so I did this piece thought what do I do with it so why not stick it on a on a journal this is an altar book and it's called guitar essentials and it was made guess what in 2015 and here we go it's actually um probably one of my favorite there's all sorts of things in it as usual and here there's a medicine paper bag and inside the paper bag there's a photo of a of a lovely elderly chap that died recently and he was the dad of my best friend in Inverness and this was uh, what we were given at the funeral and of course I had to keep that forever and ever so what better place than put that picture in here oh and this is a, some sort of imitation washi tape basically what I did is uh, printing an image in my computer in my printer and then put in double-sided tape um, all over the back and cut it into strips and that's my washi tape and that's that this is this perhaps the simplest spread in the journal where I have indulged in some really um, silly poetry which rhymes which is so silly I'm not even gonna read it oh my god Anyway, moving on. What does that say? Oh yes, I just heard a guy on the radio, on Radio Scotland saying my favourite thing in the world are passion and curiosity. Favourite things in the world are passion and curiosity. Ditto. This is a, an acrylic skin, basically layering different colours of acrylic on top of each other, letting it dry and peeling it off. It's got a lovely, lovely feel, plasticky feel to it, rubbery rather, feel to it. Dougal, my Springer Spaniel, an absolute utter menace, so hyper but so loving. Crap. I quite like this spread because um, I've always found gold and blue a lovely lovely combination and these are bits uh, from pages from my other journal my cheesy altered book uh, it was a large print book about a really cheesy love story and I I just had fun cutting some of the most awful lines like He kissed her hair, silk beneath his lips, strayed to kiss her throat and the faint ca carving of her breast. I was going to say carving, oops, carving of her breast. I mean, how crap is that? I love using white Indian ink on black. It's the only thing that I find that actually works because I haven't found a white marker that actually doesn't stop working after a while. Blacks are okay, but white, if anybody can suggest to me one that actually is fine enough and keeps working, please do write to me. I'd love to know. Envelope made out of anything, piece of paper. Oh, here is where I, oops, must cover that bad word. It was when I got a parking fine that I didn't even deserve. Moving on quickly, very quickly. 
Christmas first Christmas card got for my little grandchild. Oh, my little Mattia. It's one of his first quiggles. Be precious forever. That's lovely. That's a lovely thing about our journaling. They can be the recipients of all these memories that otherwise would be lost in drawers or, or, or whatever, or even binned. Um, these are just the titles of two great films I've seen recently, one called The Possibilities Are Endless and one was called The Theory of Everything. Great films. Another envelope with an article that I liked. Um, here I made texture out of uh, polyfilla and uh, I find it works really, really well for etching, engraving or whatever. I like this bread. Some of it was done with that um, foam marbling that you can do with shaving foam and it's so fun to use. And these pockets envelopes were stamped with a homemade stamp made with a piece of wood and rubber bands wrapped around it. And that was a um, it was one of the polystyrene tiles uh, print, mono print. Some of my ugly ladies. Quite like the crisscross on this page too. But because um, I don't like wasting too much time being precise, I don't know if um, anyone has noticed that. Um, some of them are just fixed together with staples. So, any objections to that? more little envelopes that I made. Um, lately I'm having fun making envelopes and making them really um, squeegee like all squint and not not precise, not right at all. Much more fun. I love this bag, I love the noise, but also the colours, the liquorice, all sorts. And um, I just use the envelope to put a, an article that um, I want to keep as a memory in it. This was doodling with cheap kiddies felt pens watching TV. I just covered two pages um, and then I added these bits and pieces. Oh, she's really ugly. I bought these fun eyes that you buy for making toys, but she does have the most wonderful boobs, doesn't she? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. This this was using up some very old oil pastels that I have and once these are finished I don't think I'll ever buy them again because I much prefer newer products now like uh, Derwent uh, art bars and blocks and stuff like that. I do love my cheap inks. I found some really, really cheap inks on Amazon um, and they seem to me every bit as good as the more expensive variety. Here's another envelope. 
with something else inside, which I won't try and get out with just one hand. I really must suss this video and thing better. This is another page done with their went ink tents and actually both. Here I was trying to copy a self portrait of Van Gogh. And other than the fact that I've elongated his uh, face quite a bit, but it bears some similarity to the original thing, of course. Three people and the landscape. That's been the landscape with snow. And these are three people charcoaled very, very quickly with willow charcoal, which I absolutely adore using. It's so immediate and responsive. Oh, well, here's two, two of my squeegee envelopes. Uh, I just closed my eyes and um, folded two bits of paper that had uh, coloured with the ink tense pencils and various other things. And whatever shape that took, I decided it was going to be an envelope. And wherever there was a gap, I put a thing in. That is just old poems that I brought and I wanted to keep. So that's two alternative envelopes. And some of my doodles with intense. I do love that intense. Have I said that before? Um, and I think... That's the end of it. On the back, I haven't done anything because I like to keep the idea of it being a guitar book. So here you go. That's it. That's my um, guitar alt um, alter book. Bye, darlings.